Hey, how's it going? And today I just wanted to do an update to a video I did a while back on problems I was having with the conditional button. And I just wanted to bring you up to date with my current understanding of things. So the first thing to be aware of is that there used to be a setting for resources. So not all elements that can be spawned in are items. They're what's called resources. So if I go on the item spawner here and we come down here and we look at things like this, like the acorn is the very first thing on the list. If you look at the, the box beneath it, you'll see the path that it's a resource. And you'll also see that the active power cell is a resource. And you'll see that adhesive resin is a resource. And if we go all the way to the bottom, a yellow mushroom and some other things, this dino egg are resources. And so the first thing to realize is that when you're looking at items to place either in the item spawner or and or the conditional button, you have to be aware whether it's resource or something else. If it's an item, it will go in your inventory. If it's a resource, it's gonna go on your resources panel. So you won't necessarily see it. Now, just because it's a resource doesn't mean you can't use it as a key to get through the conditional button. But there used to be a setting called infinite resources that you could set. But if we come into island settings now, and we come down here and we search for infinite resources, you'll see that we have infinite ammo, infinite consumables, infinite building materials, but there's no longer any infinite resources. So let me just show you what we've got right now in the scene. So I'm just gonna go into Fortnite here and start the game. And this leads us to our first thing. So it appears now that this is working. So we've got, what we've got here is we've got a locked door with a locked device and the door will only open once the condition is met for me to have an acorn. And I have a item spawner over here that has spawned in an acorn. So right now, everything is working correctly. And if I hit E, it's gonna say, I can't, I can't, do, I can't do that. Now, if I go over and I acquire this acorn, You'll see it didn't go in my inventory, but it went into my resources panel. And now, this is the second point. Once a, a key item for the conditional button is acquired, the conditional button will turn blue. So it will recognize that you've either acquired it in your inventory or your resources. So now it recognizes that I've got the acorn in my resources panel. And so it, even though I don't see it up here on the screen, if I come over here to the conditional button and I go E, the door unlocks and I can go in and then it turns red again, re recognizing that I don't have the item. If the conditional button is red, it recognizes you don't have the item in inventory or resources. Once you acquire the item or resource, the conditional button will turn blue. And so I've spent it basically, but now it's unlocked the door and I can go through the door. So that's really a big takeaway. The other takeaway is that resources, because they go into your resource panel and not into your inventory, you can't grab them. So there is a setting if we go come out of here, it just takes a minute to come out, we come out of the game and I go to the item spawner, or I mean the conditional button, excuse me. If I come down here to the conditional button, you'll see there's a, there's an option for required holding item. So if it's a resource, we don't want to have that checked on. So that's another takeaway from all this. So uh, not all items can be placed in your hand. So we don't want to have that on there. So that's pretty much it. Now we can go ahead and double check that this is all working as it should. We can go into the conditional button and require a different kind of key item. And we'll, we'll go ahead and make it a resource. So let's see. So let's go down and choose in this case we'll choose a mushroom. And again, if we click on this, if I click here, in other words, and I come down here, you'll see that this actually is another resource. So like I said, when you're picking your item, just be mindful of what it is, whether it's a resource or an item that goes in your inventory. And then if it goes in your resources panel, you don't want to have required by hand. And like I said, I don't believe it doesn't appear that there is a infinite resources anymore because that would mean that it would always recognize you as having that particular item. 
So I don't know if they've done away with that for resources or not, but I can't find that infinite resources setting anywhere. Okay, now we come into item spawner and I'll make it the same thing. I'll make it that mushroom. So we'll come down here and select this one right here. So I'll go ahead and push those changes and then I'll be back in just a minute to go over this. Okay, so we're back, it relaunched. So let's go in and start. So like I mentioned before, if the button is red, as it is, it recognizes that I am missing the item. And this is a resource, so it will not go in my inventory, it will go in the resources panel up above the wood and all those building materials. And there my mushroom has spawned in and notice that as soon as I get it, as soon as I get it, the button will turn blue. See, it immediately turned blue, recognizing that I now have it in my resources panel. And I come over here and I'm basically spending it. And then it's gonna turn red and the door's gonna open. And there we can go. So. The update is, is that the conditional button seems to be working fine. There is no glitch really with it. It was just not understanding how the conditional button was reacting to resources that can't be placed in your hand. <laughs> and it may have had something to do with infinite resources, but at this time it doesn't appear there's any setting for infinite resources. So anyway, thanks to Llama Juice for the comment and we'll keep learning every day as it continues to evolve.